morning health nuts. Uh, it is a beautiful spring day today. So I was inspired to film a what I eat in a day video spring edition. Uh, so I'm just kind of starting my day. Well, I've already been up for a bit, but this is just a lemon chia water. The chia seeds are kind of at the bottom right now, which is why it looks a little crazy. But I've been loving making a lemon chia seed water in the morning and I kind of just like will refill this throughout the day. So I'll drink about half of it, refill it, put it in the fridge and the chia seeds and lemon juice are just like super hydrating and good for you and it just is a really nice refreshing thing to have throughout the whole day. So um, yeah, I'm already dressed, makeup's done and everything. I'm wearing my cool summery pink or springy pink pants, drinking my water, and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna make for breakfast. Now, I've been on this rut where I either have my green smoothie or oatmeal for breakfast because I, I just love them. I don't know, I used to not like oatmeal and now it's all I can think of in the morning. Uh, but I really wanna make an acai bowl. I want something, I wanna switch things up and I think an acai bowl is like the definition of a spring breakfast. So I'm gonna whip one up today. I have some acai puree frozen in the freezer that's been there for a few months. Hopefully it's still fine. All right, let's head to the kitchen and make some acai bowls. Mm. So I'm just opening my fridge here, you know, giving you guys the real behind the scenes action, picking out all my ingredients to make my acai bowl. I usually like to store my nuts and seeds in the refrigerator because it just keeps them fresher longer. Just grabbing my frozen acai puree. It's usually found in the frozen section at health food stores. You can also buy it in a powder form. I will link it down below in the info box. And then I always keep ripe frozen bananas in the freezer. So I have all my ingredients out and I'm just gonna blend the base first and then I'll show you guys what that looks like and then we're gonna do the fun part which is decorating the top of our acai bowl. So in my Vitamix, I'm adding in the frozen banana, some strawberries, the acai, a little bit of almond milk to get things going. And the trick with acai bowls or really any smoothie bowl is to really only use a tiny bit of liquid if you want that nice creamy ice cream like texture. And now I'm just transferring it into a bowl and just kind of flattening the top so I can lay all my delicious toppings. I feel like I haven't had an acai bowl since literally last summer. So it was so fun to have fun and play around with different toppings. I threw on my simple granola recipe. I will link it down below. It's one of my go-to favorites lately because it's so easy to make. I'm also sprinkling on some shredded coconut. Fresh banana slices and some raw pumpkin seeds. And it's ready to dig in. All right, so there you have it. There's my acai bowl. I think it turned out really good and it tastes delicious. I usually put frozen wild blueberries in it, but I didn't have any on hand, but it looks just the same without it, just a little bit lighter. Uh, I'm gonna take this to my office, do a couple emails and stuff while I eat because I'm all about that multitasking life, eating and working all the time. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll see you guys in a little bit. And now I'm just in my office getting some work done, catching up on emails. I think I was reviewing a video here and I love just enjoying my breakfast in the morning. So I'm actually just reviewing a video that's going live on Thursday with my friend Matt from Fidel Gastros, which is another YouTube channel here on YouTube. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out because it would already be live by the time this video goes up. And then I'm just going to do some emails, have some work to catch up on. Chloe and I are filming a couple of B-roll shots for my condo tour that may or may not be up by the time this goes up. And then we're actually heading out for lunch. So I think we'll bring you guys along with us. We're going to a new restaurant that I've been going to. I've been there twice now. It's my new obsession. Uh, I won't give you guys a hint. You'll have to keep watching to see what it is. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see you guys for lunch in a little bit. And I'm gonna get back to my emails. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek of the video that's going out with Matt. That's looking great. Okay, so we're gonna heat up this other pan and we're gonna start making our Spicy, pizza, cheese sauce. Last thing I'm gonna do is slice my green tomato into coins so I can bread them, cover them in cornmeal, and then deep fry them. Stairs, I'm with Chloe, we're heading off to lunch. I changed my shirt because it's a little chilly outside, and I feel like the other one would have been a little bit light, so. I always take the stairs because it's good for your butt. <laughs> Sometimes Chloe and I like to get out of the apartment and work remotely, and in this case, we were going to my new favorite pokey bowl spot in King West called Cali Love, which I'll talk about more in a sec. But we just thought we'd walk there because it was a gorgeous day. 
And there's the CN Tower. If you've never seen it before, it's very tall. And this is what the outside looks like. I love that the building is turquoise. I'm not gonna lie, because it's my favorite color. They have quite a large menu for a little spot and they even have a delicious bone broth, which I highly recommend trying out. I've had it there before, but in this case, I just ordered a hopeful bowl, I believe it was called, um, and it was delicious. It has jalapeno in it, which is actually not too spicy, believe it or not, like just raw jalapeno. And I just love all the toppings that they put on this bowl. It really goes together really well. And then you can also pick some toppings to finish it off with. I did sesame seeds. roasted seaweed, and some pea shoots. Like how good does that look? Okay, so we just got our food. I got the hopeful bowl. That's what it looks like. I'm already devouring it because it's so freaking delicious. And we're just gonna eat. We're gonna, Chloe has to do some work on a, some editing on a video, and then I'm gonna just catch up with an email. It's kind of like a work afternoon slash filming day. So, and then what are we doing? Oh, and then we're brainstorming video content for next month, so for June. And we have a lot of like summary barbecue recipes and stuff that we wanna film. So we're gonna be working on just planning that out in the calendar so we know when we're filming and we can prep for that and stuff. So. I'm gonna finish eating this. Chloe, how's your bowl? Good? It's the best. Cali Love, King West in Toronto. Definitely come check it out. It's so good. Comment down below if you guys want me to recreate a poke bowl on my channel. I would love to do so. They're just like so fun to eat and there's so many different topping variations that you can use. So let me know and I'll definitely get that out for you guys. And then after I'm done lunch, I always try to remember to bring my vitamins with me, especially if I know if I'm gonna be on the go. And if you guys wanna know what vitamins I'm taking, I did a whole video on my supplement routine, which I will link down below. Hey guys, I'm just about to prepare dinner. Matt just got home. Hey. And it's pretty late, so we're gonna actually just make like a quick, light dinner. Uh, I don't even know if we're gonna put any meat in it. I think it's just gonna be like a veggie. Yeah, we'll just use like some leftovers, whatever we have. Yeah. Make a light pasta. Yeah, I'm thinking pasta and salad. That seems to be easy. Uh, yeah, it's pretty late. It's already like past eight. <laughs> so we're gonna just prep something quick. I already have a pot of water boiling, so we're just gonna prep everything and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so right now we're kinda just going through the fridge, picking out leftover veggies and stuff that we need to use up, opening different containers, seeing what there is. I'm just chopping up some onions, tomatoes, and basil for the pasta, and Matt is preparing the salad. We kind of double teamed dinner because it was already late. Usually, to be honest, I cook most of the time. A lot of people ask that, and then Matt will do the dishes and stuff, because I like to cook, and I don't like cleaning, and Matt doesn't like cooking, and he likes cleaning. So it's a win-win situation. So find what task you like to do best, and pick that one. Um, so in a saucepan, I'm just putting a little avocado oil, heating that up, and sauteing my vegetables. This was not a measured recipe, so I'm just kind of eyeballing everything. So if you want to recreate this, just kind of follow along, and you can see how to make it. I'm adding a bit of white wine that I had in the fridge. And then Matt is basically just making a simple garden salad with some butter lettuce, some cucumber, peppers, onion. He's snacking while he's eating. He's eating on the job. So I'm just cooking up my brown rice pasta. This is actually one I got from Trader Joe's. I think it's a blend of quinoa too, I can't remember, but I really like it and I'm definitely gonna restock next time I'm there. In my saucepan, I'm just kind of sauteing some vegetables. I also crumbled in a little bit of some leftover tofu I had in the fridge. Because I'm always recipe testing, there's always like random leftovers I need to use up. And then I added in some marinara pasta sauce as well. and some fresh basil. Sea 
seasoning it with a little salt and pepper. And then a little trick that I like to do is I add some of the pasta water into the sauce. It helps thicken it up and just kind of loosens up all the flavors from the bottom of the pan. I'm just straining out my pasta. With any type of gluten-free pasta, I always find it's best if you give it a good rinse with some cold water. It helps stop the cooking process and kind of helps it not be so sticky. Adding that into the pot with the sauce, giving it a good stir. And there you have it, a super easy, light pasta dish. Matt has his salad bowls ready. He even made this little dressing, which I thought was really cute. I'm just giving it a shake. And then I'm just plating our pasta and topping it off with a little bit of nutritional yeast because I didn't have any Parmesan, but I usually like to just use nutritional yeast as a replacement. Pouring the dressing over top of the salad. This was a very chunky salad because Matt kind of just used leftovers of what we had in the fridge. Like I said, there's usually a lot of random leftovers from filming. And there you have it, there's our pasta and salad dinner. Super easy, super light and refreshing, perfect for warm, summer or spring nights where you really just don't feel like spending too much time cooking. And in case you're interested, I think we're watching Pirates of the Caribbean. I never know if it's Caribbean or Caribbean. Comment below, which one is it? You're distracting. You're distracting. And there's Matt just, you know, showing off his moves. Little did he know I was gonna keep this in the video. <laughs> Mm. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's What I Eat in a Day Spring Edition video. Hopefully you guys found it inspiring and hopefully it gave you guys some fun recipes and food ideas on what you guys can eat during the season. And I'm just gonna finish eating my pasta here. It smells amazing. I actually haven't taken a bite yet. Maybe I'll do that right now. Mm-hmm, that's good. I topped it with a little bit of nutritional yeast and some sriracha for some spice. So good. Mm. All right, I'm gonna finish my dinner. If you guys enjoy these videos, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Can I say bye, Matt. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs> bye, guys. If you guys enjoy these What I Eat In A Day videos, I have tons more on my channel. You can check out these two here, and I will also link down a playlist down below with all of my What I Eat In A Day videos. I do lots of fun ones, uh, so definitely check them out, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!